Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be comparing two very big numbers and we're going to find out which one is bigger. We have 2 to the power 24 factorial and 2 to the power 24 factorial. So as you can see 2 to the power 24 is inside the parentheses in the second number so that we evaluate that first and then do the factorial with the first number we evaluate 24 factorial first and that becomes the power of 2. All right, let's see how we can compare these two numbers. I'm going to start with the first number, 2 to the power 2 to the power 24 factorial. Since 24 factorial can be written as 24 times 23 factorial, I can go ahead and write this as 2 to the power 24 to the power 23 factorial. Makes sense? Because we have this property, right? Now let's go ahead and take a look at the second number. 2 to the power 24, whatever that number is, and then we factorial it, and we get something like this. So basically, n factorial, remember, is n times n minus 1, n minus 2, so on and so forth, all the way down to 1. That's a product of consecutive numbers. So here we get 2 to the power 24 as the largest factor, and then the next number is going to be 1 less, right? And then the one after that is going to be 1 less than that, so it's going to be minus 2, so on and so forth until you hit 3, 2, and then finally 1. Make sense? Obviously, we have a very large number, so 3 to 1 is going to be in the product. And now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be looking at these factors. 2 to the power 24 minus 1, obviously, is less than 2 to the power 24, right? Isn't it? 2 to the power 24 minus 2 is definitely less than that, and they get smaller and smaller. And finally, we're going to have 3 and one, 2 and 1, right? So here's what happens. We're going to go ahead and multiply these together. Make sense? So when we multiply these, what's going to happen? We kind of have to think about it very carefully, right? This is going to go all the way down to 1. So we're going to have 2 to the power 24 factors. In other words, we, we're going to have, and let me go ahead and... Uh, check this out as well we have 2 to the power 24 factorial right which is this one and by the way this product I'm talking about that product is going to be this product and that is going to be less than less than 2 to the power 24 times I could probably write it there right kind of like this bring it over here there you go that makes more sense 2 to the power 24 times 2 to the power 24 times 2 to the power 24, so on and so forth, all the way to the end. Now, how many factors do we have? That's a good question. And that would be 2 to the power 24 factors. So we're going to write this number 2 to the power 24 times, which means now our inequality turns into the following. 2 to the power 24 and then factorial it. That's going to be less than 2 to the power 24 to the power 2 to the power 24 because we have this one this many times makes sense as an exponential cool so this is the first comparison that I wanted to make and obviously we do have a 23 factorial in the outer exponent and inside we have 2 to the power 24 so I actually want to tie this into 2 to the power 24 so here's what I'm going to do next I'm going to consider 23 factorial, and I can write it as 23 times 22 times 21 dot 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 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. That will be 23 terms. Be careful about that. And with the other number, 2 to the power 24, I'm going to have a 2, and then a 2, and then another 2, so on and so forth. And of course, it's going to end in 2, 2, and 2. There's going to be an extra 2 here if you want to consider that as well. So we kind of, kind of pair up like one to one. And then this number here actually has 24 terms, right? Because it's 2 to the power 24. So the second product has more terms, one more term. But we can actually make up for that by pairing up the twos. So we can kind of bundle these together and compare it to this four here. So that way we can kind of cancel both numbers out. And then that way we're going to end up with 22 terms in each product. Make sense? So we can kind of compare them like this. Look, 23 is obviously 
greater than 2, right? 22 is greater than 2, and pretty much all the numbers are in the top product is going to be greater than the bottom one. Therefore, we're going to be getting something like this. When we multiply together, 23 factorial is going to be greater than 2 to the power 24. You might be thinking like 2 to the power 24 must be a very large number, right? Actually, it's not that large. Think about it. It's 2 to the power 12 squared. So 2 to the power 12 is 4096. So you can kind of write it as 4 times 10 to the power 3, roughly. And if you square it, that's going to be 16 times 10 to the power 6. So it's going to be like 16 million something, right? So that's not huge. Anyways, you get the idea. But 23 factorial is going to have a lot of numbers in it. Make sense? Okay, great. So now we made this comparison. This is important. And now we're going to go ahead and use this with our basis. And remember, uh, one of the first numbers that we came up with was 2 to the power 24 to the power 23 factorial. That's why we need this number in the exponent. So what we're going to do now is do 2 to the power 24 to the power both sides. Make sense? In other words, if I kind of put the 2 to the power 24 at the base and raise them to these powers, I think the comparison will remain, right? So we're going to have the following. Make sense? I hope it does. But here's the nicest part about it. Now, we are able to compare this number to the other number, which is the factorial thing, right? The factorial is outside. 2 to the power 24 and then factorial it. Make sense? So our number 2 to the power 24 to the power 2 to the power 24, which is this one, is also greater than 2 to the power 24 factorial. And what does that mean? It means that by using the transitive property or by just by using transition, right? We can safely say that, hey, this number is greater than that number. So let's go ahead and write it down. 2 to the power 24 to the power 23 factorial is greater than 2 to the power 24 factorial. Pause a little bit there. And then these two will multiply together to form 24 factorial. So we're kind of putting the pieces together and kind of, you know, backing up from what we had. And then this inequality basically holds. Therefore, our winner is 2 to the power 24 factorial. Yay, we got a winner. Let's go ahead and take a look at some results from Wolfram Alpha. I believe I included some numerical values. Yes, this was the larger number. Remember, it's 10 to the power, 10 to the power. That's just a crazy, crazy number, right? It's huge. It's huge. It's just huge. Think about it. Try to write it down. You can't. And the second number is kind of also 10 to the power, 10 to the power something. But look at that. This is like 8-ish, right? And the other number is kind of 23-ish. Obviously, this is a winner. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.